guess it's a progression with mining in Daba over the years. You know, before there's been a concentration primarily on the big players. So we small players who were getting ourselves started in the early stages, nobody was paying attention to us. So last year they tried a program of creating the juniors, the people down there, you know, get an opportunity to, you know, explain and talk about their project. So when I was told about this, I said, hey, it's an opportunity for the small guy to be heard. Finally, and so in Dubba finally makes sense after four years for some of us in the small ground. So that's one of the main reasons. Actually, the main reason I came is just to be able yeah, to talk about our project and showcase what we've been doing. Well, ours is a project, we've done this for about eight years. We are what we call the early stage exploration company. Our focus has been primarily coal. So we've intercepted coal. So we've had a very good enabling environment from the government, you know, promoting, you know, the mining industry. Five years ago, we got a fully fledged mining ministry. So that allowed us to get forward and help us leapfrog some of the, the steps that are taken in mining because the government was like, okay, what do you need? How can we help you? So those are some of the things we've been. So we've been exploring for about eight years. Our main focus has been on coal. We have an energy deficit in Kenya and coal is one of the ways to bridge that through coal power. I know there's a lot of challenges globally, but hey, we need the power. We need, we need affordable power. So that's why we've been chasing coal. We've done great exploration, drilled about uh, 25 wells. Most of them have been successful. And Mother Nature is kind of nice, smiled at us, and below the coal, we intercepted gold and copper. So that kind of excites the whole project. As a junior miner, you know, you don't get exposed to a lot of the activities and a lot of strategies out there. So when you have a chance to showcase your project and you have all these investors, specialists, these guys who have been mining for many years, look at your project, ask you questions, give you advice, shape you. Like for example, myself, now you can see clearly that a lot of focus was on the demand for coal. You know, where is the demand for coal? So even as I explained that, I began to understand that some of the information I was getting from them really helped. And even the opportunity to have somebody listen to your presentation a day before and just kind of polish you and tell you, you know what, I need, you need to focus on three or four key things. You need to talk about your project. You need to say, hey, if we ex pull this commodity from the ground, where is it going? Most of the people want to see as a junior miner, you're focused on bringing it to the ground. But these guys have a 360 view. They're able to tell us, hey, once you pull it out, this is, you need to focus on where it's going. And so that to me was really good. I've been so excited about the project, but they told me that's just the beginning. The second half is where is your product going? I would encourage anyone in our level, especially, let me focus on the junior minus anybody at the level that we are at. We're talking about the early stages, just before production, and even those who have gone to production, just at the early stages, I'm encouraging them to come for this because this exposes you. Usually as a, as a junior, you, you tend to shy away, but this is a chance for you to see that the, the large companies began where we are. We tend to forget that's where it is, and so the focus for Indaba presently focusing on the juniors. It's like going back to the beginning and saying, hey, we need to be able to bring the miners for tomorrow. We need to be able to pull up the people who are going to take over the space when the big guys have gone and come up. So I would encourage everybody who's interested in and in Daba not to be afraid. You know, we're always scared. It's big boys only. But there's great opportunity for people who are into you know, early exploration and the juniors. So I encourage everybody, yeah, come share your project. <laughs>